<laughs> well, I'm a massive true crime buff and I'm also a total conspiracy theorist. And someone told me that in the castle, there were three ghosts and it definitely looks like a haunted castle. I mean, you look around and you're like, well, this is for sure haunted. Um, and so an Italian caretaker who didn't speak a lick of English decided to take me on a ghost tour. So I went with Liam and a couple of other people from the crew and um, it was really dark and cold and we walked into the different rooms and I swear to God, it felt different. I walked into it, it felt cold. There was this horrible story about a man who was kept in this one particular room for 35 years until he died and they would barely give him food and it happened in the 16th century and um, they took us into that torture room and it felt horrible. It felt disgusting in there. And when we were filming, I didn't see it, but I've seen the photo. Matthew and I had our scene where he, he runs back to me and we, we embrace and we're together again and um, it's a really powerful moment. So Meg, who does our script supervising, which her specific job is to look for things that are out of place. So the first take, everything was fine. Second take rolls by and she looks on the monitor and the window above where Matthew and I are having our embrace, there's a ghostly figure in the window and she immediately takes a photo of the screen and starts showing people. They go up there to check out what's there. There's no lighting equipment, there's no one up there, there is nothing, no reflections, nothing that could have caused it. So we took the picture, I put it on my Instagram and I was like, this is evidence of the ghost and it was watching us and it was probably unhappy that we were there filming in its land. But um, I'm a total sucker for those stories. <laughs>